Hi guys, welcome to exam pad. In today's class, we are going to solve this algebraic equation and we are going to find the value of x here. Already I solved a similar type of problems. Uh, if you wish, I I give the link in first command. Go and watch that. Okay, so let's move into the problem. So if you see here, this is the equation. So there is a cube term and there is a square term. And x term is missing and has the constant sum. I'm going to shift this towards left side. Therefore, plus 18 become minus 18 g is equal to 0. So, here x term is missing. So, I'm going to solve this equation in synthetic division method. Okay. Synthetic division method. So, some of them aware about that. If not, so let's learn. Okay. So, in synthetic method, so I am going to draw like this and I am going to write the number before that and I am going to write in step by step. So, here higher power is x cube and whose value is what? Nothing but 1. 1. Then, x square. x square whose value is what? Minus 1. So, I am going to write that. There is no x term. So, I am going to put 0 here. And then constant term minus 18. Okay. So likewise I write the value of x cube x square and the constant term I write, write like this. So if you want to see this we need to know that what are the factors is there in the equation. So here there is a constant is 18. So what are the factor of 18? So here the factor of 18 is 1 into 18, 18. And 2 into 9, 18. And 3 into 6, 18. Is it? So, let's check one by one. So, which will sink in this format. Okay. First, I'm going to take this one here. So, 1. So, defaultly write here 0. So, if you add these two, I'll get 1. 1 into 1, 1. So, if I add this two plus 1. Plus 1 is 0. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So, 1 into 0 is 0. So, 0 plus 0, 0. 1 into 0 is 0. So, here I will get minus 18. So, this 1 is not a factor. Okay. So, let's write the same thing and check with 2. Okay. So, what the numbers we have? In question, 1 minus 1, 0, 18. And put default list 0 here. And second I am going to take this number 2. So I am going to put this 2 here. So if I add these two. 1. 1 into 2 is 2. So I will get. If I add these two. Minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1. So now I am going to multiple this and this. 2 into 1 is 2. If I add these two. I will get value as 2. Now I am going to multiply these two. 2 into 2 is 4. Now I get the value is minus 4 is not 0. So this is not a factor. 2 is not a factor of this equation. So let us we move to the number 3. Let us check with that. 1 minus 1 0 minus 18 is the question for the synthetic equation. And let us consider the factor as 3. 0 defaultly. 3. If I add these two, I will get 1. 3 into 1 is 3. So, if I add these two, 2. 3 into 2 is 6. If I add these two, 6. 3 into 6 is 18. If I add these two, I will get 0. Then, this 3 make this equation as 0. Therefore, let us Consider a is, x is equal to 3 is the one of the factor for this equation. Okay. So, actual equation is what? x cube minus x square minus 18 is equal to 0. So, what the factor we have? x is equal to 3 we have. Therefore, x minus 3 is the one factor. 
and from this I can able to find the second factor and his, here we are going to consider this is x square so I already I take one x out so here x square here x this is constant just compare and write 1 into x square x square plus 2 into x 2x plus 6 ok so I will get the 2 factor so g is equal to what so write that here x minus 3 into x square plus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0. So if we multiply these two I can get this equation. So now we get the two factors. So I am going to equate that with separately. Therefore x minus 3 is equal to 0. From this I will get x is equal to 3 we already found. So from then I am going to equate this with 0. Therefore x square plus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0. So from this this is in the quadratic equation. So it doesn't come. We can't able to solve this in factorization method. So just we move to the formula method. So in formula method formula was what? Here x. So x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So this is the formula. From this I can able to write the value of a. a is 1. b is 2. And c is nothing but 6. So just substitute in this formula. So g is equal to minus minus b. So minus 2 plus or minus the root of b square is 4 minus 4 into a is 1 and c is what? 6 divided by 2 into 1. Okay. Now I am going to simplify this. Therefore x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus the root of 4 minus 4 into 1 into 6 is 24 divided by 2 into 1 is 2. Okay. Now I am going to simplify this. So minus 2 plus or minus the root of 4 minus 24 is equal to minus 20 divided by 2. So and this can be written as minus 2 plus or minus the root of. Here minus 20 can be written as minus 1 into 20 divided by 2 which is equal to minus 2 plus or minus the root of. We know that i square is equal to minus 1. We so said just apply this in the place of minus 1. Therefore, I will get 20 i square. Okay. Divided by 2. This 20 can be written as 4 into 5. Is it? So, minus 2 plus or minus the root of 4 into 5 into i square divided by 2. Here, this 4 can be written as 2 square. So, which is equal to minus 2 plus or minus the root of so here 2 square i square that square and root get cancelled. I will get 2i separately into root 5. So divided by 2. So if we see here, here minus 2, here 2. The 2 is common between these two. Therefore which is equal to x is equal to what? I am going to take this minus 2 out. So if I take minus sorry plus 2 out. Therefore minus 1 plus or minus i root 5 divided by 2 and this 2 and this 2 get cancelled therefore i will get the value for x is minus 1 plus or minus i root 5 so the another factor of this equation is what i minus minus i plus or minus minus 1 plus or minus i root 5 so this is in complex term it's a complex number, is it? So, let's write here. What are the factors of this equation is x is equal to 3. We found already. And then x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus i root 5. So, uh, this is complex. So, complex number. So, we can't able to consider this as a solution for this equation. So, let's take x is equal to 3 is the answer. So let's verify whether this x equal to 3 is satisfied this equation or not. 
So the actual equation is what? x cube minus x square is equal to 18 is the actual equation. And we found, and we found x is equal to 3 is the factor. So let's verify, okay, whether it gets satisfied or not. So let's substitute x is equal to 3 in actual equation that is x cube minus x square is equal to 18. Therefore, this becomes here x is equal to what 3. So, the 3 cube minus here x is equal to what 3. Therefore, 3 square which is equal to 18. 3 cube is nothing but 27 minus 3 square is nothing but 9 which is equal to 18. If we minus these two, so I will get 8. 8 here and I will get 1. So, if I have to, so I will get 18 is equal to 18. So, the board value is equal. Therefore, x is equal to 3 is the factor value of the actual equation. Okay. x cube minus x square is equal to 18. Therefore, the answer is x is equal to 3. So, if you see any value x is equal to 3 in the option, you can select that as a correct answer. Okay. So, practice tries and tries. Then you will get a perfect answer. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.